Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a slightly drizzly uh, morning prayer. It's Wednesday, it's the uh, last day in September, but it's lovely to be with you and uh, gathered together um, to start our day in prayer. Um, so hopefully, uh, we'll just wait a couple of moments as usual to allow people to to log in and to, uh, to find us, and then we'll, uh, we shall spend some time starting the day in prayer together. Um, as uh, as usual, good morning, Leslie. Let's uh, let's see who's in. Good morning, Diana. Who else have we have we got today? I've sent uh, the, the children have gone off with Mary and Mark. Good morning, Barbara. To uh, and good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Brian. The children have gone off to to preschool. Not too many tears this morning, so we'll pray that uh, that they manage to to survive the morning at preschool without getting too upset. And all those other kids who. And, and adults as well who start the day in a slightly anxious way. Let's uh, let's keep all of them in our thoughts and prayers uh, this morning. Um, it's Wacky Wednesday. Um, it's not too wacky, but we'll be using something different to pray with, as we often do on a Wednesday. Um, and uh, I'm going to make sure um, in a moment that uh, that you can hear me. So please let me know uh, that everything's working okay. It does seem to be. That's good. Uh, so our prayers this morning... Um, We'll be using uh, a, a creation and nature theme because it's coming into the end of creation tide. I thought uh, we we do something with that, and we've got some um, some prayers from um, the common prayer book, um, and I'm hopefully going to be able to do what Rich did, Reverend Rich did yesterday, uh, which was very clever, and share some of the opening prayers in the comments. So I'm going to do that now, and um, and then you'll be able to um, join along with me as we use the opening prayers which are from the uh, the common prayer book i know that's going to be backwards for you uh, but uh, they're beautiful opening prayers and we'll share those in a moment and our readings this morning are from psalm 119 uh, verses 57 to 80 and then we're continuing in the book of acts um, chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. so as we we start our day Please do use uh, the prayer that I've just shared in the comments, if you can see that, and, uh, and say that together. And do share the names of and the uh, people and situations who you would like to pray for during our time of intercessions. So let's pray together. O oh Lord, let my soul rise to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so our first reading is from the book of Psalms, and it's um, one that we've looked at quite a bit over the, the last few months, Psalm 119, and this time we're starting in uh, verse 57, and we're reading to verse 80. You are my portion, Lord. I have promised to obey your words. I have sought your face with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Though the wicked bind me with ropes, I will not forget your law. At midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. I am a friend to all who fear you to all who follow your precepts. The earth is filled with your love, Lord. Teach me your decrees. Do good to your servant according to your word, Lord. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your commands. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. You are good, and what you do is good, so teach me your decrees. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your precepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous and unfeeling, but I delight in your law. 
it was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. The law from your mouth is more precious to me than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. Your hands made me and formed me. They give me understanding to learn your commands. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your laws are righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause, but I will meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes. May I wholeheartedly follow your decrees, that I may not put you to shame. God, our Comforter, send your Holy Spirit to reveal your hidden mercy, even in our failures and troubles, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so our, our uh, next reading, our New Testament reading, is from the book of Acts. Um, and yesterday, uh, Reverend Rich shared slightly earlier on in Acts, and it was the little bit uh, uh, that linked in with, um, with angels and, and thinking about uh, angels yesterday. And so we, there's a, a snippet that, we, um, that you can look back and, and follow, and there, there were some riots that, um, that started in the city of Ephesus, um, Ephesus, I should say, um, where Paul had been preaching. So if you want to have a look back at that, please do. But um, just as a little bit of background for today's reading, um, Paul has been uh, in a place of, of riot um, because of what he's been saying. Um, so we start in uh, Acts chapter 20 and it's verses 1 to 16. When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for the disciples and after encouraging, encouraging them, said goodbye and set out for Macedonia. He travelled through that area, speaking many words of encouragement to the people, and finally arrived in Greece, where he stayed for three months. Because some Jews had plotted against him, just as he was about to sail for Syria, he decided to go back through Macedonia. He was accompanied by Sopater, son of Pyrrhus from Berea, Aristarchus, a Secundus from Thessalonica, Gaius from Derby, Timothy also, Antichicus, and Trophimesus from the province of Asia. These men went on ahead and waited for us at Troas, but we sailed from Philippi. After the festival of unleavened bread and five days later joined the others at Troas, where the seven stayed. On the third day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people, and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. There were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man called Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself upon the young man and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said, he's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. We went on ahead to the ship and sailed for Assos, where we were going to take Paul abroad. He had made this arrangement because he was going there on foot. When he met us at Assos, we took him abroad and went on to Mytilene. The next day we set sail from there and arrived at Chios. The day after that we crossed over to Samos and on the following day we arrived at Miletus. 
Paul had decided to sail past Ephesus to avoid spending time in the province of Asia, for he was in a hurry to reach Jerusalem, if possible, by the day of Pentecost. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide us with your counsel, and afterwards receive us with glory. Amen. So I was thinking um, this morning we might use something which um, we've been collecting with the children. Now at the weekend uh, we had great fun because we went off to some gardens um, and the children were able to run around and just enjoy the early autumn um, weather and the and the, the way the leaves were off the trees and kicking them around. But we came across one of the greatest things in the world, I remember as a child, and that was a horse chestnut tree, just as the conkers were dropping to the ground. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but I just remember as a child, finding conkers was just one of the most magical things um, that you could have happen, uh, in, especially uh, in autumn and, and, well, you only get them in autumn, but you know what I mean. It was so exciting. And then we used to, find the biggest one or, the, or the, the most sturdy looking one and go and drill a hole in it and play conkers um, and it was, uh, it was such a special time um, but I thought actually what a wonderful uh, analogy uh, the conker is because when, uh, when you first get it, I've got this, this one here in fact I've got a whole bowl of, um, of Arthur's conkers, he's very excited about this bowl and Eva as well um, and uh, I've had to ask special permission to borrow them. But uh, the great thing about the conkers is they start in that spiky case, don't they? And it's there for protection to make sure that they're not taken uh, by squirrels or, or us, I suppose, um, too soon. And that keeps them safe. But also it, it can be quite prickly. And, uh, and because um, it's prickly, obviously it keeps things away. Um, but that can, it can be representative of things that aren't quite as nice in our life. You know, there are prickly things, spiky things that we don't like. Um, and so I thought we could pray for those. But also, in, in some way, it, it, it does offer protection. And we can thank God for the protection that he offers us and the love and care that he offers us and that others do as well. Um, but when you, when you open it, and these are starting to get slightly wrinkly now, um, but they're great, aren't they, Congress? And you get that... To, that beautiful the, the patterns on them and the, and then they start to uh, they start to fade but they're so shiny when you first open up a conker uh, and it's just one of the most magical things and as you uh, see almost your face reflected back in it and it says in Ecclesiastes it says he made everything beautiful in its time and we just need to remember actually that whether it's ourselves that we, we're not sort of thinking about properly or, or other people and we're uh, we're not seeing the beauty in them, but actually things can appear very spiky and uh, maybe not worth very much. But when you when you see what's inside, you can see things of great beauty um, and that are just so magical as well. And so let's let's pray for that this morning. So. Yeah, let's let's spend some time in prayer and, and do please do share the names of people and situations who you would like to pray for. So Lord God, we, we thank you for the conquer, uh, for this time of, of the year and for this beautiful season of autumn, even in the rain. Um, but we think in particular of, of the conquer's spiky shell and we think of what it might represent in our lives or the lives of others. Sometimes things that when we go towards them, it hurts. And we pray for all those situations that hurt at the moment, that if we get too close, cause us pain. We pray, Lord God, that you will be in those today, that you will support us through those times and the others who we pray for. But we also thank you, Lord God, that you protect us 
that you love us so much. And that sometimes these hard, hard and spiky situations uh, can actually benefit us in some way. You can help us with that. And we pray for those right now. But Lord God, we, we give thanks that beneath the surface that can look so um, maybe ugly or spiky or uh, maybe a little bit scary, either in ourselves or other people, there is great beauty and that you created us to be beautiful. And just as these conquers are so beautiful and so magical, our lives are as well. And we thank you for that, Lord God. And we pray for all those who don't see beauty in themselves. We pray that you will just reveal yourself to them and, and the beauty inside them as well. And we pray in particular this morning for our friends and those who we know and love and for people who are finding life difficult at the moment. We pray, Lord God, for Meg and Raphael. We pray for Sue, Andrew, Kate, Archie and Maya. We pray for Sarah, for Ben and Joanne. Lord God, we pray for Enid and Bob, Sue and Sam, Natalie, Vic, Tony, Mark, Kathleen and Jackie. We pray, Lord God, for Mary and Graham. We pray, Lord God, that you give strength and support and hope to all carers at this time, Lord God. And Lord God, we pray for Lee and family, for Jim and for Jan. And Lord God, we pray that for each of these people and for all of us, that you will reveal the beauty of the conquer inside that hard spiky shell in all the situations in our lives where we only see the shell and the spiky. We pray that you will remove the hurt and that you will allow us to see the potential of the seed which is inside. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Lord God, we commend ourselves and all whom we pray for to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So we pray our colleagues for today. Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they can do and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfil them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so let's now say the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us in whatever form you feel most comfortable. And again, I use a children's version for today. So dear God, our Father in heaven, there is power in your name. We trust your ways from your kingdom in heaven all the way down to earth where we live. Please provide all we need today. Forgive our mistakes as we forgive those who make mistakes against us. Help us to make good choices 
and protect us from all that is evil. Everything we have and do is all for you, so that everyone we meet will see you in us, forever and ever. Amen. So as we finish our time of prayer this morning, um, I have found a blessing for creation tide, which has been uh, written by members of the Leeds Diocese. And we thought it would be a lovely way for us to finish this morning. So, in fact, what I'll do is I shall copy and paste that as well so that you can share in that in a moment. And hopefully it will come up in time. So this is a blessing for creation tide. May, the God, may God the Father, who clothes the lilies of the field and feeds the birds of the air, provide us with all we need for life in its fullness. Amen. May God the Son, who fed the 5,000 and turned water into wine, feed us with his life and transform us in his love. Amen. And may God the Holy Spirit, who hovered over the waters of creation and formed the world from chaos, form us in the likeness of Christ and renew the face of the earth. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. So I hope that uh, is something that resonates with you today. It certainly will with me and it will give me a good kickstart to the day. So I hope you have a great day and uh, I shall be back with you on Friday, but uh, we'll be back here with Lynn tomorrow. And uh, so I shall see you then. God bless. Bye bye.